I was very impressed with the, uh, the 800 and the 1000 machine. They had what I considered to be the most significant capability, which was the, the clear coating that they put down on the sheet. I consider that to be amazing in terms of capability for printers. That coating capability and all the other specs combined make those two machines just amazing products for the printing industry. The mistake we've made in the digital printing market is using the numbers. I really don't care about resolution anymore. I really don't care about bit depth. The, the only thing I care about is what you put on the piece of paper. And what you put on the piece of paper is a new standard because it's no longer the halftone dot that we're familiar with in the offset lithographic world. So perhaps in the future we have to start thinking of digital quality as being the standard and offset now talking about how it matches. Uh, offset lithography is now going through this, this, this painstaking process of trying to defend itself and it has niches where it belongs. But today, because of short runs um, and variable data, uh, digital has become the standard. So I think that the quality that digital is now producing is really the standard for printing that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, the, the, the image quality is just absolutely superb. I'm a big proponent of anything that adds value to a sheet. And the reason for that is that print c becomes commoditized. And coding has become one of those value added areas where I can increase the value of that sheet and sell it for more and make more profit. So anything that helps me to do that is an advantage. Most offset presses, of course, have coding units on them. It's unusual in the toner-based world to see it. To see it in this machine is just, in these machines, is absolutely amazing. Um, so yes, I think you have a capability. I think Xerox has a capability that's going to help to sell these machines. Because printers then will see the advantage of putting down um, Spot, to spot coating uh, with toner and, and flood coating with toner um, and selling this as a value-added feature to their customers. I would recommend this product to any commercial printer. Now certainly there are implant printers who could benefit from it as well, but I think the big market will be on the commercial side. The, the, the growth market is photo books and photo merchandise. Anything that records the memories of, of my life and my family's life and my friend's life. Um, so photo books are a growth market today. People taking digital photos and then putting them into uh, compact books of various kinds. Um, and it could be a memory of a vacation or a bar mitzvah or a confirmation or a wedding. Um, it's just an absolutely amazing uh, uh, event that you want to record in some way, shape or form. And really in the old days, it would have been an album with photographs in it. Today, it's a book with printed photographs in it. I think, this, I think the 800 and the 1000 could become the de facto standard for, for photo books because of the quality of what it's outputting and the ability to have the clear coding. Well, it's all about business. But the printers are not, don't exist to be charitable organizations. Um, one of my challenges is um, convincing suppliers that they have to create machines that help printers to prosper. They have to create machines that help printers to advance and profit. If the printers don't make money, if the printers can't do business, there's no reason for suppliers to be in business. We're all in this together. And so what I see on the 800 and the 1000 is a machine that has really been designed for business for a printer now to create a new digital printing business in that new reality that has formed, which we now call digital printing. And digital printing has become an industry. It used to be just a little subset. Today it has become mainstream. Well, I've always been impressed with the number of different products because I've always told customers that they can grow with the Xerox line. You can start small and then grow and there are trade-in programs and various ways of, of upgrading from one level to another level. Very few suppliers have, have done that. They've created machines in certain niches in the marketplace, but Xerox has created a complete line. I think that Xerox has done the right job in creating a family of products that allow comp companies and customers to advance. They're going to create a new standard which other companies are going to have to come up to.